it's the season of giving once again, folks, and moving right on into it, we're starting with Thanksgiving, which is actually the number one holiday. Uh, one of my favorite activities is I like to go around to people from other nations and I go, hey, uh, what do you think the number one U.S. holiday is? And a lot of people give responses like Christmas or, you know, Easter, you know, some of them even say Columbus Day. That's a, that's a close second. They're getting there. But ultimately, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is number one. It's always going to be number one and always has been number one. So uh, today I figured I'd give you all a, uh, a, a top 10 reasons to be thankful for Thanksgiving. A lot of this top 10 list is going to talk about Thanksgiving being a gateway. Because last year's Thanksgiving video I kind of talked about why Thanksgiving is so great. Um, so now we're going to talk about reasons we're thankful for like Thanksgiving happening. Uh, so I think we're just going to kind of jump, jump right into it. Jump right, right on into it. Alright, so number 10, start off the list with something pretty, pretty simple, right? That's going to be God's dandruff. And you might be thinking to yourself, no, what the hell is God's dandruff? Well, I'm here to tell you. So around this time of year, you go outside in your, your, little, your little shorts, your uh, little polo shirt and your little pinwheel cap, and you go, ooh, ooh, it's a little, uh, it's a little nippy out here. What's going on? What's, uh, what's all this about? What? I'm, I'm not comfy, and that, that, my friend, that's cold. Um, because around this time of year, you're going to notice that it gets a little bit cold. Um, and when it gets cold, all the water in the air starts to uh, starts to turn into God, what I like to call God's dandruff. Um, and all the little kids go out and frolic about in it. And really, that's going to be why it's number 10 on the list. See all those little kids go outside and they're, you know, frolicking around in big old piles of God's dandruff? You can't help but feel a little joy, you know? A little happy. Just like, wow, this is what it means to be alive. They like to make little, uh, little creatures out of their, uh, out of their little dandruff piles. Uh, I personally would advise not going anywhere near them. Don't, don't touch the dandruff creatures, please. Don't, don't do that to yourself. It's not worth it. Um, in fact, I would advise not touching any of the dandruff at all. Uh, it's kind of gross. Uh, some people don't really like God's dandruff all that much. That's why it's only at number 10 on the list. Uh, causes some problems sometimes, but we're not going to that. So, uh, yeah. Moving on into number 9. Number 9 on the list is without a doubt going to be Holy Days. Because you wake up Thanksgiving morning and you think, wow, this is it. We're, we're here. This is the Thanksgiving season. And it's really, it's really something nice. So I think that's really one of the biggest reasons to be thankful for Thanksgiving, is that it enters you into the holy day season. So you might be thinking to yourself, once again, no, what, what's a holy day? Do you, do you mean holiday? And this is actually one of the biggest problems with our nation, is people don't know what they're talking about. And if you come up to me, either in comments, messages, or, or even in person, and you look at me and you say, no, it's, it's pronounced holiday, don't be surprised when I look at you and call you a blundering idiot because it's 100% pronounced holy day and if you do that you I will never speak to you again all right so number eight is gonna be a major player in this field right number eight is gonna be uncle Derek you know why number seven is one of my favorite times of year it's one of the reasons why Thanksgiving brings me so much joy and it's not even Thanksgiving it's what comes after Thanksgiving it's when you wake up on Thanksgiving and you realize today's Thursday let's do some quick math uh, uh, that means tomorrow's Friday but this isn't any Friday no 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 this is not any Friday this my dear friends this is Black Friday. This is my favorite time of year, right? Okay, because you wake up on Thanksgiving and you go, Oh my God. Oh, good Lord. It's practically here. It's practically Black Friday. Like, we're... Sp it's almost here because... Okay, listen. What are the day of the year you get to wake up? Grab your remote. Turn on your TV. Boom. CNN. Uh, Fox News. It doesn't matter. I don't care what you watch. It doesn't... It, listen, as long as you get in the news, Channel 56 Action News. It does not matter to me. Whatever you're pulling up on your TV, how many other days of the year do you get to watch all 20 billion people of your local town pull up to the local Walmart and literally trample each other over like the new Keurig 3000 ultra pasteurized milk dispenser. Like that that's not that doesn't happen regularly. That's not something you could just wake up on any given day and do. You can't turn on your TV and be like, "Oh, yep, there he is. There's neighbor John. He just got Oh man, that man got liquefied. He's just done for." They you don't get to do that. So you wake up on Thanksgiving and you think, "Oh, Oh, I am thankful. I think that culminates the American spirit, and it's something I'm, I'm really, truly thankful for, right? And that's actually going to cleanly lead me into number number six. Uh, number six, we're going to take a little break from things we're thankful for, and we're going to branch off into maybe one thing that I'm not thankful for. And I think the one thing I'm not thankful for, a lot of people enter into those Walmarts, they enter into that, like, uh, BJ's Superstore, wherever you're shopping, I don't, I don't know, right? And they don't ever come out. 
Black Friday consumes them. They're sacrificed to Uncle Sam and never seen again, all lost in the name of the American spirit. So I think number six, we're going to take a moment of silence for all those who, all of our fallen brethren on Black Friday, and really just kind of remember what they fought for. But then that's going to bring us right on into number five. Number five, we're definitely thankful for it. It's the people who not only get liquefied on Black Friday, but get completely goddamn vaporized. You go into... You go into these stores, right? People are throwing fists, elbows, knees, feet, whatever. They'll headbutt you if they have to. If they gotta get that brand new microwave, right? They're doing whatever they have to do to get it, okay? And the fact of the matter is, some of these people are gonna get smacked down so goddamn hard that they're gonna be vaporized. They're not even gonna get liquefied. They're not even gonna get trampled and left in a puddle. We're gonna culminate number five in this sentence. Human sublimation. When people go from a solid, like humans are solid, right? Not, this is not liquid, this is not gas. When they go from that straight to like a plasma, oh man, I'm thankful for that. That Thanksgiving, you provide so many wonderful opportunities. Like, without Thanksgiving, why, when, when would you ever get to wake up and see a dude get sublimated? Never, right? Thanksgiving is the only time of year that you're going to get to witness that, and ultimately, got to be thankful for it. Thank you. You're doing God's work. Get out there, sublimate some people, and if you don't sublimate some people, uh, just watch them from your house. Get a good laugh. So number four, once again, big player. Number four is something else about Thanksgiving. It begins the season of, like, questionably intrusive interdimensional beings. Um, and of course, these are going to come on, these are going to come later in the year, too, but Thanksgiving is where you're like, oh, it's the season. We're here. You got two big players in this field. You got Santa Claus. He's the big, jolly, red, fat man. Everybody knows Santa, right? Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it doesn't matter. Everybody knows Santa. If you don't know Santa, then there's a decent chance you might know the other one. That one, that one takes a lot out of me to talk about. Just... So, these beings, right? They, they'll come in through any cracks, any holes, any openings you got in your house. You got electrical sockets? Pfft. Yeah, you better tape those over if you don't want them to come in. Shower drains, uh, toilets, listen, they're coming in no matter what. It doesn't even matter. As long as you have an opening in your house, they'll find a way in. And so ultimately, I mean, I think Thanksgiving kind of is like, hey, look, we're here. Everybody starts celebrating when the beings come into our house, whether we want them or not. Woo! Thanksgiving really just kind of marks it. It's like, oh, here it is. Everybody prepare. Everybody put the house on lockdown. Everybody uh, get in the basement. Lock the doors. Uh, cuddle together. Hope they don't find us. And maybe then we'll be good. Okay, so number three is actually going to go on the list of things that we're also not thankful for. So I uh, hate to interrupt this list, this top ten list with two things we're not thankful for. Um, but right now, I feel like number three is definitely going to be the unbelievably loud cats in the other room that are having like a WWE Smackdown ladder match. I don't know if the mic is picking this up, but I don't know how it's possible for cats to be that loud. There's there's three cats in that room, and it sounds like a jet engine taking off. It sounds like, like an actual battlefield. I would be 100% not surprised if I walked in there and found just carnage on all the walls. Just completely ripped apart everywhere. I, like, if I walked in there and found an actual war zone with, like, craters blown out, <laughs> that's it. That's what I expected. Can't, I'm not even surprised at all. So, not really thankful for that. I kind of wish they'd stop, but what can I do about it? If I go in there, there's like a 100% chance I'm not coming back out. So, it's the sacrifices we make, I guess. So, now we're down to the last two. The last two big dogs. I'm going to call them the big players of the Thanksgiving season. The reasons that you wake up and you're like, oh... This is it. This is why this is the number one holiday in basically the entire world. It doesn't matter if it's a U.S. holiday. Everybody celebrates it worldwide, whether they want to or not. And number two is, without a doubt, going to be the seasonal affective disorder. Um, also known as SAD, or more colloquially, uh, seasonal depression, right? Because it's really around Thanksgiving that starts to kind of starts to kick in, right? You kind of notice, you're like, ooh, I'm not feeling so hot no more. Uh, I, don't, I don't wake up. I don't feel energized anymore. I wake up and I'm like, oh, man, we're really here, aren't we? And this, this feeling's going to last for, like, until probably late February, honestly. Um, but ultimately, I think, like, Thanksgiving, after you finish your meal, your, uh, your big meal around the round table with you and your boys, your family, uh, president, doesn't matter. Uh, once you finish your meal, you're going to sit back in that, that lazy boy recliner and you're going to go... Yeah. And really, that's just going to mark the mood for the whole season. So, Thanksgiving, thank you for that one. I appreciate that a whole lot. It makes me really kind of feel the, the holiday spirit, if you will. I like it a whole lot. So, uh, I don't know what, where we'd be without it. So, that's going to take us, uh, that's going to be number two on the list. Big player. Big player, without a doubt.
and it's time for number one, baby. It's we're here. It's here. It's listen. Okay. All right. Real talk. Y'all know it was coming. Y'all knew it was coming. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about by now, one, I'm disappointed. Two, you're a fake fan. Three, you're not gonna live to see the daylight of tomorrow. So number one is the biggest player of the whole season. It's the reason you wake up on Thanksgiving and you feel your heart rate just like start pounding, start pounding out of your chest. Good lord, am I gonna have to have a, a heart surgery? No. I warned y'all about it last year. I said keep your eyes open. Do not forget. The most important part, do not forget. And if you forgot, boy oh boy, I'm sorry. I'm s listen, this is on you. You did this to yourself. Number one, get a drum roll please. Number one, without a doubt, is going to be the rat stew. I don't know what you expect. If you didn't expect the rat stew, rat stew is always number one. You bring the big pot of rat stew out on Thanksgiving night, the whole family just dips their little grimy ass fingers in. They start grabbing rats, they start grabbing vegetables, they start grabbing meat chunks. They, hell, you don't even know what it is. Might not even be rat for all you know. It could be like chipmunk. It doesn't it doesn't matter. You're just reaching in, you're grabbing the rat stew because the rat stew is the most perfect dish that has ever. Look at it. Look at the rat. How can you look at that and tell me it's not the number one reason why Thanksgiving is the best? Listen, no other time of year is rat stew gonna be made but on thanksgiving when you when you're sitting there at the table and your mom comes around with a big 10 gallon pot and it's just completely full with rat stew boiling over the edge what are you gonna do you're gonna look at it and you're gonna go oh my god oh good lord it's here oh you're gonna drop to your knees you're gonna start praying what you weren't religious now you are you're gonna start praying to the rat stew you were religious change your religion rat stew time baby it doesn't even matter because listen the rat stew is the most perfect most beautiful listen okay so some people come up to me around this season, right? Because they hear me talking about rat stew so fanatically. And they go, Dude, what's wrong with you? What's wh That is disgusting. You make me sick. I don't want you to come anywhere near me, my family, or anyone I associate with. I don't want any of that filthy rat stew mess anywhere in my life. I need you to get away from me. I'm going to get a restraining order against you for you and your disgusting rat stew. I look at them and I say, Quit. You... You're front. I don't want to hear it. You know damn well that rat stew is the best thing that you will ever taste in your whole life. When I lock eye contact with them, and I say that, there's a single tear that goes rolling down their left eye every single time. Because they know. They know the treason they've committed. They know the crimes and the lies they've told. Because rat stew, it's the one thing that brings the human experience together. You bring up rat stew, and you can't help but feel united with you and your brothers, or your sisters, or your parents, or your relatives. Because ultimately, rat stew is the most, it's the culmination of the human experience. And if you can't appreciate that, don't associate with me. Get away from me. You're banished. I want nothing to do with you, and I hope you rot in a ditch. So ultimately, rat stew is going to be number one at the top, absolutely. You can't ever break away from the rat stew. The most delicious dish brings everybody together. Ultimately, got to be number one. Throw, throw the list up here. Rat stew, bingo, baby. All the way number one at the top. I don't know where it's going to end up in editing, but it's going to be somewhere up there. You know what? Screw it. Change the whole list to rat stew. doesn't even matter. Make every single point rat stew because without rat stew, none of the other points would even matter at all. Because without rat stew, that seasonal depression I talked about... Nope, you're always sad. Doesn't even matter. It's not even seasonal. It's year-round depression without that rat stew. God's dandruff? Never. You don't even get to experience that because you're dying of starvation without that big supple bowl of rat stew. Right? Black Friday? What was there to fight over? If you can't fight over canned rat stew, what are you doing in the store? So, listen. Ultimately, rat stew, number one. Every, rat stew, all ten points. Doesn't even matter. This is why Thanksgiving is the best holiday, and if you disagree, one, you're going to jail. Two, I will show up at your house. Three, you will not live to see the light of tomorrow. So, um, ultimately, uh, thank you for listening to my list this is the best list to ever be created if you disagree you know you can leave a comment i won't read it and if i do i won't even acknowledge it um if you really feel strongly against my list you can you know like start riots um burn some cities uh show up at my house protest outside uh knock down the door come inside take me hostage um but you know what that won't change anything because i know it's right god knows it's right so ultimately uh, i think i win this battle uh, Thanksgiving is the number one holiday, and that's just the fact of the matter. So I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hope you all enjoy a big bowl of rat stew. If you don't, I'm so terribly sorry for you. Uh, there's always next year. Um, ultimately, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. So uh, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, adios. Good night.